What's up, y'all? Hope you are doing well. And um, today, I just wanted to share my experience uh, training at a pro athlete gym. So specifically, they help a lot of people transition from college to pro level, like going to play basketball, volleyball, baseball, overseas, in Europe or something, or transitioning from high school to college basketball to get a scholarship. So yeah, I wanted to uh, share it as um uh, yeah i think it's it was pretty fun but for positives i really liked how they emphasize technique and slowly taking your time through the program uh, also had fun trying new exercises like the air pressure equipment like um uh, pushing out with squats jumping out from using the air pressure equipment stuff like that or maybe doing like uh, cable exercises then Utilizing bands, med balls, a slide board, like doing a bunch of alternating lunges across it, doing ab work on the slide board, partner workouts too. So, for example, maybe doing like a side plank and then having the trainer pull on your abs as you do it to get that extra stretch and other fun things that are hard to get access to. For example, uh, I would usually do an ice bath in the morning, then sauna later post workout. So, it was super cool. So, Oh yeah, I'm also a bit sick, so if I cough and stuff, you guys know why. But yeah, it was also fun to have coaches you could chat with in person and online too. So shouts to them. They were awesome. You can talk about the latest sports events and anything else they're up to, along with just having a more personal touch of your training as opposed to, you know, when you're training alone or you have like a set program or something. So that also led to me discovering things like uh, I didn't warm up my hips and lower back enough. So I think I could get away with that when I was younger, but now as I get older and have a more uh, sedentary job at the computer, I do need that more. Then also need to strengthen my core in various motions, like uh, not just forward, sideways, but also diagonal, reverse, all that jazz. Strengthen my hip adductors too. I usually shank chain my hip abductors with the usual exercises like the hip abduction machine, uh, the glute bridges, etc. Maybe walking with bands, but I never really trained abductors and I think that was a weak point and it made sense as I barely trained it. Along with tracking cardio, so doing like various ones too. Like uh, for example, if I go on a hike, I need to make sure I hit a certain amount of actual jogging time as opposed to just walking all the time, stuff like that. And also Big changer was learning I had wider feet, which need wider shoes, so I get a lot of feet pain from wearing narrow shoes, and I, I wouldn't know why, but after realizing, oh, I need wider shoes, so uh, yeah, that was a big change for sure. Then improvements, uh, I think there was quite a, to be blunt, there's quite a bit of fluff in the warm ups and exercises. I think the full warm up would probably take around 30 minutes, but to be, she could probably do it in like 10 minutes. And yeah, I think there were other exercises that were overly complicated. For example, holding a ball while having something pull on your arm, one leg up, you know, stuff like that, where it wasn't really a strength training exercise. It's more of like, I could see this being useful for more ways where you can switch it up to kind of maintain your strength throughout the season of like a pro athlete. But for actually building that base, it really wasn't that useful. It probably would take one or two weeks just to learn the actual movement and then they switch the program every four weeks so you actually only have around two weeks of actual gaining strength which is limited by the technique already then i think that led to another point where there wasn't as much of a focus on progressive overload i think i had to take that into my own hands so then uh, a lot yeah a lot of the exercises were just for fine tuning and maintenance and i also found that some exercises were conflicting with other stuff i wanted to do so with the pro athlete gym i think they kind of assumed that you only train there and you do like specific sports stuff outside of that but i also want to do other things like b-ball hiking trying out new fun classes and doing other random things right so i ended up needing to adjust to myself which the exercises with conflicts which led to like a nagging right foot injury from uh, too many plyometrics and etc so overall do i regret training at a pro athlete gym for three months Nope. Um, yeah, I had a blast. There were a few adjustments that I'll be adding to my own program. So extra core work in different planes, uh, extra hip and adductor mobility work, and strengthening adductors too. 
new fun exercises to do, which I'll add in. So before I would do two strength days, like Monday, Tuesday, usually, then Thursday, Friday, also, then Wednesday, Saturday, more accessory work. But Wednesday, Saturday, I'll probably switch it up to more of that circuit kind of training that they implemented along with the new exercises spread throughout the door, uh, throughout the week, along with additional core exercises, and also, uh, yeah, just like emphasizing having fun and playing b-ball and other sports that I want to do. Then it also made me realize that zoning in on the fundamentals, fundamentals even more makes sense, you know, make sure I get great sleep as opposed to trying to do other fancier stuff like the cold bath and sauna, then nutrition. Uh, I think from kickstarting this training at the professional gym, I started buying uh, meal prep, so then professional meal prep services, and I will still continue doing that to keep up with that. Then for exercise, I think, uh, yeah, zoning in on the best strength training exercises, making sure I get enough rest, like between two, three minutes, maybe even more for the hardcore ones, and less of that circuit style training where you do one exercise, go out to the other, as the second one will inevitably suffer in effort, mental health, and yeah, less of the fancier stuff. But I will include some fancier stuff in terms of variety, so trying out new stuff weekly. For example, I want to try out a sensory deprivation tank. I think that'd be super fun. I want to go back to yoga. That helps in a lot of the mobility work, which I should continue doing, even though sometimes I get lazy doing that. Um, doing different stuff. Like, uh, I I think this all ties into the next point, which was being able to buy that much into Parathy Gym as it was very expensive. Uh, I think it broke my limiting belief as before. I would be afraid to spend like a few hundred on optimizing my health. I would just want to spend a gym, healthy food, maybe try one class every like two to four weeks or something. But now moving forward, uh, yeah, I think I'm not afraid to spend on more stuff like expert coaches for a specific training goal of mine. So I already bought a program for basketball, but I think for Spartan Race coming up, I will look out for a pro training coach. Then massages, I think that's uh, one that usually makes me feel good afterwards. No happy ending pause. Then um, <laughs> that yoga, I think, yeah, I think that usually helps with feeling better, having more mobility, make sure my hips, lower back, ankles, other ears aren't that tight, healthier food while going out. That's pricier, so not being afraid to get that instead of like a cheaper option or something. Meal prep trying new classes that seem fun so I, there's a bunch of new classes i want to try out like i don't know like shooting guns or new like parkour classes going back to like uh crown the god and trying out other classes and yeah i think just trying new things maybe and oh yeah like not being afraid to take an uber pay for that to be able to go to new classes maybe even going across the san francisco bridges and checking out the new wildlife areas and maybe go to the zoo or something so just not being afraid to spend more to optimize my health and just have a good time and to just enjoy life in general right and yeah i think uh that's about it i'm trying to think of any other thoughts now um, yeah like not really can't think of any thoughts right now uh very grateful for all the trainers there and uh my time there and um yeah i think uh feel super dope then after this, I'll probably kickstart like a three-month AI trains me challenge where uh, I'm already doing like the United Rising series where we post all the habits we track weekly. So I'll probably add in that where there's like a <coughs> um, training program element to that. So yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this different style kind of content. I would love to share more of uh, my fitness journey and all that jazz, but. Yeah, very glad we went through this three month experience and I'm very curious to see how the challenge goes and let me know what fitness goals you guys are doing. Let me know if you need help with it, etc. As we are tracking things together in the Socials Rising community to help each other reach our goals. So hope you have a great rest of your week and chat with you soon. See ya.